And a good day. Thank you for being with us. I'm Chris Willis. We begin at noon with a father who lost his son to meningitis last month. He's in Austin today trying to get a new bill passed regarding the bacterial infection. It would require all college students to get vaccinated and not just those living on campus. Our Aaron Cargill begins our coverage live at the Capitol. Our top story testimony just ended. Aaron. Yeah, very emotional testimony at that. Two different families who've both lost children to meningitis spoke to the Higher Education Committee, to the Senate Higher Education Committee this morning, as well as a UT student who got meningitis two years ago and actually lived to tell about it. Now, 22-year-old Jamie Schoenbaum lost both legs and hands from the infection. That's, that's an infection that's an inflammation of membranes that cover the brain and spinal cord. Now, the original bill that governor signed into law two years ago was named after Jamie, but it only required college students living on campus to get vaccinated. Now Jamie's back at the Capitol trying to finish what she started and a grieving father who just lost his son to meningitis last month has joined her in the fight. His son Nicholas Williams lived off campus at Texas A&M and College Station. He said the original bill left a huge loophole and his son's death could have been prevented. There's always sympathy for the grieving family, and most people think privately, tough luck, or I'm glad it's them and not me. Well, it could be you or someone very dear to you. If the vaccine saved just one life, it's worth it to that family, and may God help those who think otherwise. And there were also a handful of people who spoke against the bill this morning, claiming requiring that vaccination would do more harm than good because of the side effects. They also said that this bill would be a violation of one's rights. Now, Senator Wendy Davis of Tarrant County is authoring this bill. She also authored the original bill that passed, and she said that anyone can opt out of the vaccination. We're live at the state capitol this afternoon, Aaron Cargill, KXA and Austin News. All right, Aaron, thank you. Let's go in depth here. There are two types of meningitis, viral and bacterial. The vaccines that state lawmakers are talking about are aimed at bacterial meningitis. In the 1980s, doctors began giving the Hib vaccine to infants in the United States. The vaccine targeted the bacteria that were the leading cause of bacterial meningitis at that time. The CDC said those vaccines drastically reduced the number of meningitis cases among young children. The proposed vaccines target other forms of bacteria that can cause meningitis. Some cases are contagious, most commonly spread by coughing, kissing, or sneezing. Bacterial meningitis is not spread by casual contact. Doctors diagnose cases by testing a sample of spinal fluid for the bacteria. Doctors can treat the disease with antibiotics, but it is vital to catch cases early.